y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm here to tell y'all all about the Hunger Games Read Along. <laughs> Okay, so this is the announcement video for the Hunger Games read along. Emma from Mogul Glamour invited Peyton from Peyton Reads, Lily from Lily Eleanor Reads, and me to co host this read along. And I'm so grateful. So thank you so much, Emma, for asking me to be a part of this. I'm linking all of these channels down below, of course. I love these ladies. You need to subscribe to them. I love them a lot. Emma thought that it would be a really fun idea to do a Hunger Games read-along in preparation for the new book coming out. I think it's called The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And that I believe is a prequel to The Hunger Games. So it takes place before The Hunger Games. So I'm going to be the host for February. At the end of February or at the beginning of March, we haven't really talked about what day our live shows are gonna be yet. My book is The Hunger Games, the first book. So uh, if you wanna read The Hunger Games, read it along with me, with us. And then Lily is going to be the host for Catching Fire, which is in March. Emma will be the host for Mockingjay, which is my favorite book in the series the following month. And Peyton from Peyton Reads is going to be the host for the last book. So for each book, you're going to tune into the live show on their channels. So the live show will only be on my channel for February's book, The Hunger Games. But then you'll tune into the other channels at the other months. We have not picked out our like live show dates yet. So be sure to follow us on Twitter. We have a read along Twitter link down below. Please go follow that to stay up to date for the readathon. I am so blessed that Emma asked me to be a part of this. The Hunger Games was a big, big, big part of my reading experience and reading journey. I've always been a reader, always been a reader, but I feel like the Hunger Games really got me into dystopian, um, kind of like futuristic, almost like inspired my love for fantasy in a way because the Hunger Games is solely fiction. So uh, it inspired me to go above and beyond in what kind of fiction I read when I was younger. Cause I mainly just reread uh, Twilight. <laughs> That's what I would just reread. Uh, and I got to choose the Hunger Games and that helped me get into new books. Also, funny enough, I didn't learn about the Hunger Games from anybody except for my dad. <laughs> my dad, I think purchased me the first book <laughs> because like his friend's daughter read it and loved it. And he knew how much I love to read. And he was like, you know what, here you go. And I got stuck in his office one day, just having to sit with him in his office. And he had this book with him. So I was like, oh, well, I got nothing better to do. And I read this and uh, the rest is history. This book is a huge contributor to my reading journey, as I've already said before. It's how I've made a bunch of friends. It's how I've discovered new things. I mean, even my, my dog's name is Katniss, y'all. Like my, my dog's name is Katniss. <laughs> I cannot wait to get back into this world. I have not reread this series since I was in middle school and I am in the middle of college right now. I'm so excited to dive back into this and just learn more about it all over again, fall in love all over again. So I'm really excited and I really hope you join us in this read along. So anyways, there you have it. Please go check out all of the other hosts videos. Each of us are making our own announcement video. So please go check that out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.